Okay, so we're going to kind of put everything together. And we're going to describe the shape and distribution of each data set in these graphs. We're going to talk about if there's any clusters, gaps, peaks, symmetry, skew, variability, etc. All right, so talking about the clusters, you can see that the clusters, that the data, each dot represents a piece of data, that they're all clustered together. So you could just say the data is clustered from between 8 and 13. Are there any gaps? No, there are no gaps. A gap would be if, say, there were no dots at 12. There were no dots here, then you could say there was a gap at 12, but there are no gaps. Okay. What about peaks? Are there any peaks? Peaks are the ones that occur the most. They're the tallest. Think about a, um, a mountain peak, right? Well, the tallest would be at 9, and this is taller than any of the other ones, so this would be our peak. So there is a peak at 9. What do you think? Is this symmetric or is this skewed? Well, our line has actually been drawn for us, and we can see that the tail is going to the right, so the skew would be to the right. The data is not symmetric and it is skewed to the right. Is there variability in the data? Are there a large variety of numbers in our data? No, there's not a lot of variability. The data is just from 8 to 13. That's not a large range or a large spread. If it was 8 to 93, then yes, there would be a lot of variability. Let's do this one. Describe the shape and distribution of each data set. Okay, so this is a different type of graph. It is a box plot. And it doesn't show the individual data pieces. What it shows is the spread of the data. So we can't tell if there are any clusters or gaps or peaks. What we can talk about is the symmetry. Is it symmetric? Is it skewed? Is there variability in the data? Okay. So looking at this, you could tell that the shape is not symmetric because the lengths of each of the box and whiskers are not the same. If you were to draw a line down the center or even look at this middle line here, you could see that the right side is a little bit shorter than the left side. The left side is a little bit longer. And because that left side is a little bit longer, you would say that it is skewed to the left. There's not a lot of variability in the data. You can tell that it only goes from 2 to 10, so that's a very small range. And from the box plot, you're at, at, unable to determine if there are any clusters, gaps, or peaks. We talked about that. And that's really all you need to know to be able to describe the shape and distribution of data sets.